Hey guys, and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're gonna take our projectiles that we made and we're gonna affect the way it aims and we're gonna have it head towards the crosshair on the player's screen, um, as opposed to just where the gun is actually pointing. <clears throat> With this, we'll also have a little bit of a gravity effect, which will give our bullet some fall off. So we're gonna go into the military weapons and we're gonna open up our rocket launcher again. So what we're going to do is um, this out a bit and we're going to add some math in here which is going to change the direction <clears throat> at which the projectile spawns. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our player character and we're going to cast to them. By doing this, we're going to be able to access the camera location. We're going to get first person camera. All right, not that one. There we go. Just to make this a little easier to view, I'm gonna break off some of these. Okay, so we're gonna get the first person camera. And from that, we're gonna get the world rotation. So what this is gonna do is give the angle that our projectile should spawn at. Next, we're going to take our arrow which was our location on the rocket launcher where the projectile will spawn. And we're gonna get the location of that. So get world location. At this point, we have a location and an angle, and we need to combine those things together. So we're gonna use a addition. We're gonna put the rotation we're also going to make a transform because that's what we need to feed into our spawn projectile. We're going to use the original rotation from the camera. Go back over and add our owner and our instigator again. Plug our transform into the uh, creation of the spawn. So then let's go ahead and copy all of this. Save that and then we'll open up our pistol to make sure we do the same thing. So we're going to do the same exact thing, except the only difference is we're going to spawn a pistol ammo rather than the rocket launcher. <clears throat> let's go ahead and save that and let's test it out. All right, so now we have uh, our pistol in the hand and you can see the bullet is headed towards the crosshair. <clears throat> One thing we might want to do is change the uh, particle effect. It looks like it's way too big for the bullet now. But as you can see, as you fire, the bullet will fall down with gravity. So over a long distance, 
it's not actually going to hit exactly where your crosshair is because gravity is going to bring it down some. Let's um, let's go and edit our bullet just to change that effect a little. This is our particle system. Scale it down a little, maybe. Really, that particle effect would probably just be behind the bullet. There and reduce the length quite a bit. That might give a little bit more of a, maybe even a little more. Probably give a more realistic rendering. better for our bullet we probably want to make it even smaller but let's switch over to our rocket yeah so our rocket will go all over if we shoot up in the sky we can see it goes out and arches down with gravity <clears throat> should explode over there except our world isn't big enough for it to actually explode the end of our world is right over here system again. Let's make this even smaller. Um, three, three, and one. Side a little. Looks like our bullet's actually quite big. Maybe um, scale down the whole thing. So, um, 0.25 maybe. Oh. Point oh five, and let's fix the particle system. Two five, maybe. Oh, point oh two five. What I was going for.
<clears throat> regardless, I mean, this is a little less important in the moment, but uh, this is something that you can play with to give the visual aesthetics that you are looking for. Um, <clears throat> just one of those things that you got to fiddle with and get it to exactly what you're looking for. So our bullet is carrying quite a big, <laughs> quite a bit of mass and is uh, pretty large. So I'm gonna have to really work on scaling that down quite a bit. Cause it's acting more like uh, the rocket launcher than uh, a bullet. But regardless, that's the sort of effect we're looking for and I'll just have to continue playing with that. But thanks for joining me and um, see you on the next tutorial.